What's going on, my peoples and my peoples to be? I am Comrade Card, and this is another episode of the Get to the Point Reviews. Damn it. And today, uh, I actually have a problem. I bought a product because I have a problem. Now, one problem is solved. It used to be lack of light in the room and the quality of the videos, all the noise in the videos because of low lighting. But I fixed that problem because now I have my new, newer NL660 lights in effect. But I'm also having another problem. Problem is, these cords are kind of on the short side and they're plugging into the wall over there, but I'm sure I'm gonna find myself in a position where that's not gonna be cool, all right? Where I'm gonna need a little more length uh, when it comes to um, hooking these lights up and move them around, move, moving them around my home and moving them um, if I happen to film someplace out in the broad. So what was my solution? Coming right up. All right, my people, so this is my solution. Bang! A 360 power curve, 3.5 surge protector. It has a 15 inch cord, 15 foot cord, so it says. So let's open this bad boy up and see what's up. Okay, so we got it out the box and this damn thing is pretty darn beefy. I mean, <laughs> okay, it has a one, two, three, four, five power out uh, power receptacles and it has two uh, USB um, power outlets, which is gonna be great because there may be a time where I buy equipment where um, I actually, um, it, actually a lot of equipment that's coming out nowadays doesn't use a, a traditional uh, wall plug. A lot of times it's powered by USB. So that'll probably come in handy at some point. Uh, I believe that's an on and off switch for the unit itself. Very cool. Okay, so I got the cords unwrapped and this is gonna get the job done, my peoples. Trust me, okay? Let me get this bad boy plugged up and see what the difference is. Okay, so here's the problem. Those are my two lights for my makeshift YouTube studio. And as you can see, cords coming from there, cords coming from there. These lights are, right now I'm 6'2", so maybe these stands are about maybe five foot nine, five foot 10, five feet 10 inches in the air right there. But look, unless where you're setting up your lights is right near the wall, this is a problem. This is, this is a problem. This is way too short. So let's find a solution. This is gonna be a great solution because now It'll go right on the floor, right between my lights and the cords won't be stressed at all. But this is a very cool feature right here. You see where it says protected and grounded? This is the power switch for the power strip. When you hit the button, it lights up. So it lets you know it's protected and that it's grounded. Very cool. Another cool feature of this power strip is the receptacles, they turn. When you, when you put your plug in, you can position it any way you want. So being that I have a, 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 a plug on the right and a plug on the left, what I can essence do is that being that this cord has a tendency to be like this, instead of bending it in an unnecessarily awkward way, I could plug it in and turn it to the position I want in, which I'll do like this, and I'll plug it in. So this is facing this way without unnecessary stress in the cord. And this one is facing the other way with unnecessary stress in the cord. Another cool feature, the NF, that the power switch is there, just at the press of a button. Lights are on at the flick of a button. And also now I can walk between my lights, whereas before I couldn't because the cord was always like this because it was connecting from my light fixture to the wall. And I would always find myself having to walk into the other room 
to get to the other side of the lights without having to duck underneath the lights. But now that I have the space, I could just walk through point A to point B. And there you have is my solution to the overextended power cords from my newer lights. This cord, this 15 inch cord, more than enough. I could stretch this thing probably, well, it's 15 feet away. So this is probably maybe four to five feet away from where I needed to be. But the factory cords to me, they were ad adequate enough, but they still were hanging. What I don't like is that even though I have the cords very close to where I have my lighting um, positioned, I still don't like the fact that there's no way to brace this cord. You see that brick? It's just hanging and there's nothing to attach it to. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to, yeah, you see how that's just hanging? That's not cool. So what I'm probably going to do is just get some Velcro and put some Velcro behind the bricks and put some Velcro on the poles. That way it could be supported and not just hang it from the cord because in time that will damage the cord. I mean, here and now, today, nothing's going to happen to it, but in the long run, something bad will happen with it just hanging like that. And the only supporting, the only thing supporting this brick is that little part right there. That's an oversight in the design of these newer uh, N660s. All right, so they should have some type of clamps or something on this pole to support that brick. So that was my solution to my dilemma of short cables with my NL 660s. Um, I'm using the 360 power curve 3.4 surge protector that I bought from BJ's. Um, I caught it on sale. Um, it was like about $5 more uh, a few days ago and it went down in price. Uh, it cost me about 24 bucks, I believe. I'm not affiliated with them, so I could say how much it costs. And, uh, but um, usually, I mean, no matter what, I mean, I've been buying power strips for years and I've never had one fail on me. I mean, I've had them at different quality levels. These type of things very rarely fail on you. I personally never had one fail on me, but this is a good sturdy piece that I probably will have to the day I die more than likely. Um, but because it's an extra long cable and uh, it's, it's thick, it's sturdy, it has the additional USB outputs, this is a solid purchase and I would recommend it to anybody. First impressions, I was a get up on it, God darn it. My name is Kamra Card. This is the Get to the Point Reviews. And until the next time, my peoples, shop.